Down. Ooh, reholster. Good evening, true Christian homemakers, and welcome to the annual BITCH Worst Mother in America Awards Banquet, sponsored by Remington Rifles and Xanax. Gals, it's been a tight race this year, and many public figures, even some without reality shows, have fought with sharp outfits and even sharper elbows for tonight's award. But the prize was cinched with news of Willow Palin continuing her family's tawdry tradition of guzzled down booze bottles and hushed up police investigations. Some sore losers at table three over there claim that tonight's honoree isn't really the very worst mother in America. Well, not unless Dinah Lowen ODs before dessert. <laughs> Fuck you. Goodness. And while our winner may actually be only the fourth or fifth worst mother in America, she receives this award tonight because the time she spends talking about being a mother is so profoundly at odds with the time she spends actually being one. As the former friend of the former Patsy Ramsey, trust me, I know a bad mother when I see one. So it brings me much preening pleasure to award this year's worst mother in America, Tiara, to that dabbler in government and political gadfly for a price, Sarah Palin. Who can applaud? Sarah, over here. Your tireless determination to carelessly ignore your family when you aren't carefully exploiting them is an inspiration to self-absorbed public figures forced to do damage control photo ops everywhere. While you're away from your lakeside mansion doing and saying absolutely anything to get attention or dollars one right after the other, your rehab-ready children went absolutely feral, whooping it up off at unchaperoned parties and snorting it up off of powdery coffee tables. You know what they say. There's always a little less snow in Alaska when the Palin kids come through town. <laughs> Since tonight's winner is charging us $50,000 an hour Just to my honor God her, damn goody, babe. there really isn't time to highlight all her domestic derelictions. But let's trot out a few highlights, shall we? Sarah, before John McCain hitched your wagon to a freckle-knuckled falling star, that famous coquettish wink of yours was clearly an invitation to engage in a four-letter word that wasn't spelt V-O-T-E. Not only did you have premarital sex with your future husband, but you also had extramarital sex with his business partner. How's that slutty, trashy thing working for ya? <laughs> hear about your eldest son, Track, being in the military as evidenced by that one-star flag you shove in everyone's face, just like a Justin Bieber groupie with a laminated backstage pass. But we seldom hear the reason he's serving his country now is because he was served in high school with a criminal warrant. Yes, the boisterous delinquent was shipped off to Iraq to get criminal charges dropped after he stole a bottle of vodka from a liquor store and vandalized 44 school buses cutting the brakes on your neighbor's kid's ride to school. How wonderfully hero -y. Now hold on, maybe he was just high from all that cocaine and oxycontin he snorted. After all, what child needs health care when his backpack's a pharmacy? As we all know, you and your born-again virgin, Bristol, were for screwing around before you were against it. In fact, you let her share a bed in your house with Levi Johnson. And what was your maternal response to the predictable news that she became pregnant? You shipped the little vixen off to live with a relative, lest her harlotry interfere with your ambitions, or reveal that the only thing you really believe in abstaining from is parenting. Congratulations. Willow is now your latest child to have a brush with the law. While you were traipsing around the country, mainlining narcissism to feed your junkie's addiction to attention, Willow was breaking into and vandalizing houses to host booze and sex parties. Sarah, I can see your family staircase now, lined with expensively framed Olin Mills mugshots. <laughs> Assuming for the moment that trig is actually yours, after your water broke in a troubled pregnancy, what did you do? You leisurely gave a speech in Texas and then schlepped around in a cramped airplane for nine hours with no doctor. Honestly, for someone supposedly pro-life, I've seen crack whores show more convincing concern for the health of their unborn. 
Because, darling, you can drape yourself in flags and endangered species pelts, parrot tea party jingo, and incite packs of fulminating semi-literate racists to vote with ammo. But you can't even run an ordinary house, much less a white house. Frankly, there are horror houses run with more decorum and fewer visits from the police. So I'd like to accept this award as America's worst mother on behalf of Sarah Palin, who is sitting way back there at table 17. No, Nobody no, sit down, dear, sit quarter down. And a quarter. Taffy, lock and load. I demand that free speech. Darling, at $200, a poorly chosen word, your speech is hardly free. I demand, Security! I demand. Wrestle her to the ground and give her a coma. She can make her acceptance speech later, after she's bust her table. Oh, that was fun. Taffy, dear, let's go pray for stuff. <laughs>